Welcome to the University of Iowa's 2020 Spring Commencement. I offer my heartiest congratulations to all the graduates at this very special moment in your lives. And I also want to extend a special thanks to all the family, friends, teachers, and mentors who have played a crucial role in your achievements and your success. Graduates, don't ever forget that many people help get you here today and remember to help others in your lives help pay it back. Now, we're recognizing your graduation this year in a unique way, but our pride in your accomplishments remains as strong and bright as at any Iowa commencement. As always, we stand together as Hawkeyes today with strength, purpose, and pride. We are honored to send you, our professional school graduates, off as part of the great Iowa legacy if you're staying in Iowa to practice or continue your education, you'll be joining an impressive professional community of Iowa alumni. If you're moving on elsewhere, we're grateful that you will be bringing your knowledge and Iowa excellence to your new communities beyond our state's borders. We know that you will represent yourself, your university, and your profession with honor and integrity and that you will make people's lives better through your compassion, your talent, and your newly minted skills. We will always welcome you back to our campus when you can come, and we do in fact hope you'll be able to join us again for an in-person graduation ceremony in the coming year. Once again, congratulations, good luck, and best wishes for great success in the wonderful years that lie ahead of you. We are very, very proud of you. Graduating students, family, and friends, we are all heartbroken that we can't be together in person on this special day, and that you are not enjoying the grand celebration you deserve, surrounded by your peers, family, friends, and the faculty and the staff who have cheered you along the way and who are all so proud of you. I am personally deeply disappointed that I will not be able to shake your hand as you walk across the stage and congratulate you in person. But even if I can only do so virtually, it is no less of a privilege and a joy for me to celebrate the dedicated endeavor, accomplishments, and unique qualities of the very fine members of our graduating class of spring 2020. Graduates, you should be so proud of what you have achieved. Please know that we can now be more proud of you and we are honored to have traveled with you on your academic journey. I hope you will also remember that what you have accomplished and what you have gained during your time with us cannot be conveyed with a transcript or summarized in a diploma. For in addition to receiving the highest quality of education inside and outside the classroom, you have received an education in life from each other. You have formed irreplaceable friendships with your peers and with your mentors, relationships formed during good times and bad. You have faced daunting challenges, including this unprecedented spring semester, and you have navigated them with resilience and determination. Those qualities and those relationships will serve you well no matter where your journey takes you next. As you leave this university, your university, you are carrying on a long tradition of excellence. Go forward with confidence. Do great things, large and small. I know you will always be proud to call the University of Iowa your alma mater, just as we will always be proud to claim you as a member of the Hawkeye family. Congratulations, class of 2020. On behalf of the Board of Regents, State of Iowa, I congratulate each and every one of you graduating today. The most essential mission of Iowa's public universities is the education of our citizens for lives of prosperity and service. Today, we celebrate the successful completion of that mission. Iowans have known from the beginning of statehood that knowledge, critical thinking, and cultural understanding are essential to student success and happiness and to the well-being of the state and our larger society. We celebrate the value of education in our state by honoring you today 
our wonderful graduates of the University of Iowa. Today you embark on an exciting new chapter of your life. You will enjoy many personal and professional successes. You will share your talents to create a better future for us all. And as you do, take pride in being a shining example of how support from all of the people of Iowa and our public representatives in government is essential to the foundation in education that underscores the strength of the state of Iowa as well as our entire state. Once again, congratulations to you all. The Board of Regents, State of Iowa, is pr very proud now to call you alumni of the University of Iowa. I am Donald Latender, the ninth Dean in the storied history of the University of Iowa College of Pharmacy. It is my distinct pleasure to offer a heartfelt welcome to President Harold, College of Pharmacy faculty and staff, loved ones and friends of the graduates, and most especially, members of the graduating class of 2020. To each and every one of you, we extend our sincere greetings and special thanks for the honor of your virtual presence at today's unprecedented commencement celebration. Today marks the college's 134th commencement, and most notably, the first virtual commencement in college history. The graduates we are recognizing have completed a long and rigorous course of study. Of course, this year the word rigorous takes on a whole new meaning. The manner in which these graduates have comported themselves both personally and professionally as they navigated the uncharted waters facing them right on the cusp of completing their educational requirements bears special mention. The class of 2020 will undoubtedly make an indelible mark on the annals of pharmacy education here at Iowa, the likes of which has never been seen before and God willing will never be seen again. Speaking on behalf of the faculty, I can assure you that we are most confident these graduates are extremely well prepared for the challenges of healthcare delivery in the 21st century. This morning, we are gathered here to celebrate their achievements and bid them well on their impending journey. Now I'd like to take a moment to recognize a very special group of individuals. For the past four years, the men and women who comprise our faculty have given much to enrich the lives of our graduates, intellectually, emotionally, professionally, and I must add, depending upon the subject matter and the student's level of preparation at the time, spiritually. Frankly, for a secular institution, I have witnessed a whole lot of praying at times. We are indeed blessed to have a truly outstanding faculty. By virtue of their research, they are pursuing better ways to deliver health care or are in a never-ending quest to identify new molecular moieties that are crucial to discovering new drugs. Through their scholarship of teaching, they are always striving to impart new knowledge, stimulate critical thinking, and hone students' problem-solving abilities. And through their tireless and extraordinarily dedicated efforts at effectively overseeing medication management, patient care is enhanced in countless ways. Theirs is truly a labor of love. In normal times, I would ask our faculty to stand and be recognized. Of course, that is not possible today. So instead, I simply want to, you to know that I'm extremely proud to serve as dean of such a capable and highly dedicated group of men and women whose contributions to the profession are immeasurable. Events like this, even virtual ones, are made possible because of a highly talented staff. Staff members do so much behind the scenes to help advance all facets of the college enterprise. All the planning and attention to detail are evident in so many ways and are especially visible in the quality of collegiate functions. Their efforts bring a healthy measure of panache that ultimately makes our college so special in the envy of others. I feel privileged to work closely with such capable, considerate, and caring group of staff who are such integral members of our college family. 
Thank you for all that you do. And now I'd like to take a moment to thank the parents, grandparents, spouses and partners, and other family members and friends of the graduates. Your kind and considerate concern for the graduates' well-being during their time as students, coupled with your personal, moral, and financial support has been evident in helping these graduates achieve today's important milestone. I join our graduates in publicly acknowledging all that you have done through your expressions of love, support, and encouragement. Your participation in today's ceremony means more than I can adequately put into words. While we may be separated physically, I know we are joined as one emotionally. On behalf of all of the graduates, a heartfelt thank you. At this point, during a typical commencement ceremony, I would relinquish the podium for others who would address the graduating class and I would then return for some closing moments and a final goodbye after degrees were conferred and the graduates were hooded. But as we all know, these are not typical times and this is not a typical commencement ceremony. Therefore, this is the only opportunity I will have as your dean during this special ceremony to bid you well in the days ahead. Hence, I would like to offer a few words for you to ponder before recognizing the other speakers. Professionalism. Yes, we've come full circle from when we first spoke of professionalism during the white coat ceremony. You likely surmise that I would address professionalism one more time. What you choose to profess and how you choose to exercise all of the privileges that will be bestowed upon you as a pharmacist will be decided in the days to come. Pharmacist, just saying the word connotes much in today's society. Responsibility, respect, integrity, trust, and a profound connectivity to those we serve are a few of the things that quickly come to mind. Henceforth, you'll be called pharmacist for several reasons. First, you have earned the distinction that the title carries through years of study and hard work. But bear in mind that this is a beginning point, not an end point. You will always be required to continue to learn and hone your skills for a true healthcare provider's time as a student never ends. Second, you are about to enter into a very special covenant with the public. That covenant will willingly place lives in your hands and in return you will be obligated to draw upon all of your special knowledge and skills to help ensure the health and safety of those for whom you have been entrusted to serve. That reality has never been more evident to a graduating class than it is in today's unprecedented environment. In that regard, I would like to paraphrase a quote by William Osler. He who studies pharmacy without books sails an uncharted sea, but he who studies pharmacy without patience does not go to sea at all. The waters you have begun to learn to navigate in recent times provide immeasurable challenges in patient care, the likes of which humankind has seldom witnessed. Harness the knowledge and skills you have acquired. Place a firm hand on the tiller and join your brothers and sisters in healthcare delivery by working together to help tame those seas. And third, you are now a member of a very select community. This community called the profession of pharmacy is one built upon trust, discipline, uncompromising integrity, effective communication, collaboration, caring, and a firm commitment to health promotion and disease prevention. Our profession demands these things and the patients we serve have come to expect nothing less. For these reasons and so many more, you will have the unique privilege of forever bearing the title pharmacist. I feel especially proud and privileged to be the first to call you a pharmacist because I know in my heart that each of you is so deserving of this recognition. Congratulations, thank you, and go Hawkeyes. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce soon to be Dr. Margie Peck, president of the class of 2020. Margie is originally from Orland Park, Illinois. 
During her time in pharmacy school, she was actively engaged in the college, having served in multiple roles in various groups and organizations, including, but not limited to, class president, Phi Sigma Lambda Pharmacy Leadership Society, Rho Chi National Pharmacy Honor Society, APHA's Vice President of Membership, Kappa Psi Pharmacy Fraternity, Pharmacy Communicators Association, for which she was a founding member and Vice President of Membership, and a recipient of the college's tuition scholarship aid program. Following graduation, Margie will begin her PGY-1 acute care residency at Franciscan Medical Center in Indianapolis, Indiana. In my mind, Margie epitomizes the type of balanced student that we are trying to nurture within our College of Pharmacy family. Academically driven, professionally engaged, and exemplary in demeanor. I'd like to take a moment before Margie speaks to acknowledge several loved ones who were with her here today. Margie's husband, Austin, for your support throughout her education, dedication, understanding of her busy schedule, and willingness to serve as a personal quiz master, making her first years in pharmacy, four years in pharmacy school more tolerable. Her parents, Tom and Annette, and Grandma Joan, as proponents of lifelong learning and for encouraging her continued education. Thank you all. Now I call upon Dr. Margie Peck to provide remarks to the outstanding class of 2020. Thank you, Dean Latender. Having this opportunity to speak on behalf of the class of 2020 is the greatest honor I've had in my academic career. I'd first like to encourage you to reflect on your journeys up to this point, about the friends, family, colleagues, and mentors who loved and supported you throughout your education. No matter where we came from or how we got here today, we didn't do it alone. On behalf of the class of 2020, thank you to our families and professors who supported and guided us in our pharmacy journeys. Next, I'd like to thank the faculty and staff we have here at the college. Your drive and dedication are the reason I personally chose Iowa Pharmacy and the reason we have all made it to this point in our academic careers. Time and time again, we have gone above and beyond to ensure our understanding and success provided words of encouragement, and offered advice during times of uncertainty. You epitomize the qualities that make Iowa Pharmacy so reputable and have served as our role models and guides these past four years. Although words can begin to express our gratitude, we nonetheless want to thank you for all that you do. How many times have we heard about how unique and reputable our pharmacy program is? And furthermore, what exactly have we done during our time here that makes us worthy of this Hawkeye Pharmacist distinction? Being a Hawkeye pharmacist means spending hours outside the classroom refining your clinical skills. It means learning an entire vocabulary of medication names, disease states, and acronyms that sound like a foreign language. It means doing the right thing, serving sacrificially and, at times from a distance, even when the right thing is the hardest thing. Because Iowa Pharmacy shapes individuals who will go the extra mile to deliver the highest quality patient care. This is where well-rounded and exceptional pharmacists are made, and this is their first step in making a difference in the world. Four years ago, we dreamed of sitting together in a state-of-the-art auditorium, celebrating this enormous milestone and group effort together. I, like many of you, had no idea about the tremendous adventure in store for us, or how much we would learn outside the realm of medications. Through the 7.30 exams on Monday mornings, the late nights studying in Banker, the seven hour stretches of lectures, and the group learning sessions in Tile, we as a pharmacy family have grown and developed into competent professionals together. Somehow, over these past four years, we've overcome every obstacle and transformed into medical professionals, and we could not have succeeded without the College of Pharmacy family. We live in a time in which we are called to serve in ways we didn't anticipate. Take advantage of these opportunities as the unknown challenges us to grow in unprecedented ways. None of us are perfect, but we do our best because this profession is worthy of our best. We trust our instincts as we fight our daily battles. Some will win, some we won't, and some will only know in time. But we leave here knowing that these four years have been worth it, that our instincts have not led us astray, and that our best has been good enough. We go forward from here not seeking credit, 
but instead seeking to contribute. Although today symbolizes the end of our journey with the University of Iowa College of Pharmacy, it is only the first step in our pharmacy careers. The renowned education we've received here has prepared us for success regardless of the career paths we choose. We've absorbed the material and we've learned the skills, but how we apply them is now up to us. A wise preceptor once quoted Donald Rumsfeld, former Secretary of Defense, in saying, there are known knowns. There are things we know we know. We also know there are known unknowns. That is to say, we know there are some things we don't know. But there are also unknown unknowns, the ones we don't know we don't know. And Iowa Pharmacy has prepared us for each of these, to embrace every known and unknown confidently and to thrive in the face of the uncertain. The world of pharmacy is full of battles, as I'm sure you're all aware. So let's make the battles we're fighting for count. In these last few minutes, I'd like to challenge you with the following. Make a difference in pharmacy. Leave the profession better than how you found it. And if we can do that, we will certainly have a positive impact in the profession and on patients' lives. So today, I hope you realize how much you've learned, all that you've accomplished, and all the ways you've grown throughout your academic journey as a pharmacy student. The final chapters to our stories aren't written yet, so let's help other people write theirs. I'm so proud to graduate along with you all today. Congratulations, class of 2020. We made it. Thank you. Our commencement speaker today is the Honorable Thomas J. Vilsack. Born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and orphaned at birth, Mr. Vilsack is a graduate of Hamilton College and the Albany Law School. He practiced law in Mount Pleasant, Iowa, where he was elected mayor in 1987. In 1992, Mr. Vilsack was elected to the Iowa Senate and subsequently served as Iowa's 40th governor. As governor, Mr. Vilsack was especially supportive of the profession of pharmacy, where he led, he led state efforts to recognize pharmacists as essential healthcare providers. In particular, he paved the way for such practice advancements as collaborative drug therapy management, immunization authority, and payment for professional medication therapy management services in the Medicaid program. After serving two terms as Iowa's governor, Mr. Vilsack was selected by President Barack Obama to the position of U.S. Secretary of Agriculture, a post that brought him to the president's cabinet for eight years. Mr. Vilsack and his wife Christy have two sons, Jess and Doug, both of whom are practicing law. His daughter-in-law, Kate Vilsack, is a pharmacist and a graduate of our college. It is with a tremendous degree of pride that I welcome this year's distinguished commencement speaker, the Honorable Thomas J. Vilsack. Good morning to the class of 2020 University of Iowa Pharmacy School. I'm Tom Vilsack and you may have some questions as to why a guy with a legal background involved in government service and now running a export dairy company is your commencement speaker. Well, uh, that's a pretty good question. I'm not quite sure why I was asked to do this, but I can tell you why I said yes. First of all, because Tom Temple, who used to run the Iowa Pharmacy Association and is a good friend of mine and a good friend of the pharmacy school, asked that I do this. And obviously when a friend asks, uh, you usually respond. And perhaps as importantly, uh, my daughter-in-law, Kate Vilsack, is a graduate of the pharmacy school. Uh, practicing pharmacy here uh, in the central Iowa area. So for two good personal reasons, I'm speaking with you today. You know, but as I thought about it, uh, it occurred to me that in my public life as governor of Iowa and as secretary of agriculture, I have had a lot of intersection with healthcare. As governor, uh, we worked very hard to expand access to healthcare for children under the Hawkeye program. Uh, we developed a senior living trust that was designed to keep seniors in their homes longer uh, with a little bit of help and assistance. Uh, we worked on mental health parity. We also had a brown bag program where we encouraged seniors to bring in their uh, pharmaceutical uh, drugs and we would be uh, in a situation where we'd look at those drugs and make sure that they were all working appropriately together. So there was a lot of intersection between my work as governor and, and healthcare. When I became Secretary of Agriculture, uh, it occurred to me that there would be quite a bit of healthcare as well 
because we had a lot of the nutrition programs, we were dealing with the obesity epidemic. Uh, we made changes to the school lunch and school breakfast programs to make them healthier. And uh, then the opioid crisis arose uh, across the, the United States and President Obama asked me to work on that issue as well. So I had a lot of opportunity to work with healthcare issues. But it occurred to me as I, think, as I was thinking about this that there is a significant disconnect between the way in which we talk about those in the healthcare industry and profession, including pharmacists, doctors, nurses, paramedics, and how we talk about issues relating to healthcare on the public stage. When we talk about doctors, nurses, pharmacists, healthcare providers, first responders, we talk about respect. Uh, we talk about honor, we talk about heroes, especially in the, in the current circumstance with the pandemic. These people are on the front line, they're risking their lives every single day to take care of ourselves, uh, take care of our families and ourselves. And so we talk about them in very personal terms. But when we engage in a discussion about public health or healthcare issues generally, there's often a division between attitudes and philosophies about healthcare and healthcare providers. So it occurs to me that what you all need to do and the challenge that you need to consider as you approach your career is how to bridge the gap between the discussions of trust and respect and the divisive conversation of healthcare. Because when you have a divisive conversation about healthcare, you ultimately impact the way in which you will be able to do your job. So as I thought about this, it, I, I was uh, struck by a quote that I, I recently saw in a book about Winston Churchill. Uh, he had been touring damage uh, in London after uh, the bombings had taken place. And, and this is what he said, and, and I, I, let me read it to you, because I think it's it's reflective of the same attitude that we have about people today on the front lines of this pandemic. He said, I see the damage done by enemy attacks, but I also see side by side with the devastation and amid the ruins, quiet, confident, bright and smiling eyes, beaming with a consciousness of being associated with a cause far higher than any human or personal issue. I see the spirit of an unconquerable people. It occurs to me that that's the challenge for the class of 2020, that you wanna be among those unconquerable people, helping to bridge the gap between how we feel about healthcare providers personally and how we discuss healthcare issues generally. And what does that involve? Well, as a pharmacist, it involves first and foremost, the ability to listen with compassion and understanding. You know, I've been in a pharmacy recently and listened to people that were quite sick and quite concerned, expressing their concerns, their, their, their symptoms to the pharmacist. And I know that pharmacists will deal with sometimes 10, 20, 30, 50 people, maybe 100 people during the course of a day. And it may be difficult to be understanding and compassionate and passionate about your work at the end of a long day. But I think it's important for you to understand the significance of being able to listen with compassion and understanding in developing and establishing that sense of trust and reinforcing that sense of trust. I think you have to also understand that people are coming to you and they are relying on your expertise. You've been incredibly well prepared at the University of Iowa for all the challenges that you'll face in this important field. And people will rely on that expertise. They'll rely on you knowing what they need in order to be better, in order to get better. And finally, they will expect you at times to advocate on their behalf. There may be a circumstance in a situation where there is confusion about what the medication should be, and whether the doctor that's prescribing the medication is aware of other medications that might have been uh, also being administered to the, to the patient. And I think your customers, your patients, the people that you're working for will expect you to advocate on their behalf. 
So by listening with understanding and compassion, by being a, a, a willing advocate, and by recognizing that you have a level of expertise that people are relying on, you can establish that sense of trust, that sense of relationship with the people that you serve. And in doing so, you can in, encourage their confidence in the healthcare system so that they can encourage policymakers and people deciding government policies about healthcare to find consensus, to find common ground. You have an incredible opportunity ahead of you, and it's going to be a very, very difficult time. The pandemic that we're suffering through today is not going to be the last time that we will deal with a virus of this nature. Uh, the tremendous impact it has on families, the tremendous impact it's having on the economy. Pharmacy is going to play a very important role in dealing with this pandemic. Uh, once a vaccine is developed, uh, once cures are established, you're going to be on the front lines of dealing with this pandemic and future pandemics. So I wish you the best of luck. I'm sorry that you don't have the normal graduation ceremony that so many of previous classes at the University of Iowa had. Uh, but I think you are a special group graduating at a special time and you have a special challenge. I know that you're up to it. I wish you the best of luck. Again, congratulations on achieving a very significant milestone in your lives. Bruce Harrell became the 21st president of the University of Iowa on November 2nd, 2015. He received a Bachelor of Engineering degree from Purdue University and a Master of Business Administration degree from Harvard University. President Harrell served on the faculty of Harvard Business School from 2008 to 2014 with dual appointments to the entrepreneurial and strategy units. He was faculty chair of the Building New Businesses and Established Organizations program. He has served in several corporate leadership positions with Kraft General Foods, Boston Market Company, and IBM, focusing on strategy and transformation. President Harold also served as a consultant on leadership, organic growth, and strategic renewal. President Harold is the author or co-author of numerous articles and book chapters, and has also authored or co-authored several case studies for Harvard Business Publishing. We are deeply honored to have President Bruce Harold with us this morning. President Harold, these candidates have completed all of the requirements for the degree, Doctor of Pharmacy, and are recommended to you by the faculty of the College of Pharmacy for the conferring of their degrees. On recommendation of the faculty of the College of Pharmacy and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, State of Iowa, I confer on each of you the degree Doctor of Pharmacy as qualified and designated. Dr. Ahmed Abdelkader with high distinction. Dr. Mona Al Sheikh with distinction. Dr. Olivia Jane Altemeyer with distinction. Dr. Jordan Brianna Anderson with distinction. Dr. Christine Alexandra Behrendt. Dr. Colin Michael Belk with highest distinction. Dr. Brittany Ann Bittner with distinction. Dr. Cole Borchard. Dr. Matthew Joseph Boyd with distinction. Dr. Matthew Busalaki. Dr. Cheyenne Jade Caldwell. Dr. Kirsten Lee Karstarfen with distinction. Dr. Delaney Dana Cheek. Dr. Jing Shi Chen with high distinction. Dr. Kevin Chiang. Dr. Ji Soon Alexandra Chong. Dr. Courtney Anna Cobert with distinction. Dr. Kelsey Kaufman with high distinction. Dr. Caitlin Jessica Corcoran with distinction. 
Dr. Christopher James Casolino, Dr. Roberta Lori Davis, Dr. Courtney Keith Dawson, with high distinction, Dr. Amy Rebecca Dunleavy, Dr. Reed Logan Ellingson, Dr. Kyle M. Urkel, Dr. William Harrison Evans, with distinction, Dr. Courtney Elizabeth Fischels, Dr. Christopher William Fox, Dr. Mohammed Masood Fredericks, Dr. Allison Nicole Gardner, with high distinction, Dr. Alec Gates, with high distinction, Dr. Levi Keith Gates, Dr. Cambridge Allen Hampshire, Dr. Grace He Shin Han, Dr. Alexander Harlan, Dr. Hannah Jo Hamry, Dr. U Yun Tu Pham Hong, Dr. Caprice Renee Hansbrook, with highest distinction, Dr. Joel Charles Hoyman, Dr. Connor Graham Hunter, Dr. Sonia Tess Hutchins, Dr. Michelle Elizabeth Jakaitis, Dr. Sarah Candice Kadura, with high distinction, Dr. Tiffany Raquel Katz, Dr. Tiffany Tevalina Kachikyan, Dr. Brett Allen Kinney, Dr. Haley Lauren Kirshner, Dr. Alexa Catherine Klimek, Dr. Shirley Janice Lorenz, Dr. Samantha Jean Marquart, with distinction, Dr. Madison K. Mason, Dr. Matthew David McDonald, with distinction, Dr. Mackenzie Joanne Marie McGraw. Dr. Samantha K. Meyer, with high distinction. Dr. Francesca Catherine Milovitz. Dr. Austin James Miller, with distinction. Dr. Ryan Jeffrey Molander, with high distinction. Dr. Leah Nicole Mao, with distinction. Dr. Zachary John Molford. Dr. Nicole Lynn Nunemaker, with distinction. Dr. Fatma Osman. Dr. Isha Patel. Dr. Marjorie Claire Peck, with highest distinction. Dr. Brenna Taylor Robinson, with high distinction. Dr. Michael Charles Russell. Dr. Caleb Edward Rux, with high distinction. Dr. Austin Robert Sack. Dr. Aaron Thomas Schmitz, with highest distinction. Dr. Paul James Schulbrock, with distinction. Dr. Nicholas William Scott. Dr. Alexa Jean Siren, with high distinction. Dr. Miranda Judith Staub. Dr. Carolyn Ann Stone. Dr. Louis Lado Camilo Swaka. Dr. Nicole Lee Therian, with distinction. Dr. Diana Lynn Toish. Dr. Sonia Dolores Thiessen, with distinction. Dr. Alexis Rianne Tumen, with distinction. Dr. J. Joseph Thierry. Dr. Kelly Taki, with distinction. Dr. Amanda Lee Taby. Dr. Christopher Tuttle. 
Dr. Bethany Joy Votes. Dr. Carly Jo Welter, with distinction. Dr. Karen Hyland Wee, with distinction. Greetings, fellow graduates. I know what a momentous day and occasion this is for all of you. I also know that the degree you've earned will take you places that you never dreamed possible. That is what happened to me. It allowed me to have a great career in corporate America, co-author two books, and start a successful executive search practice in New York City. My University of Iowa education opened doors for me I never thought possible. You've most likely heard the expression, once a Hawkeye, always a Hawkeye, and it is true. As you stand on the brink of a multitude of possibilities, ready to begin a new adventure, I hope you will hold that mantra close to your heart. 20 years ago, I gave a commencement speech at the Henry B. Tippy College of Business, and the three messages I shared then still hold true today. Reflect, connect, and stretch. I hope that as you go through life, you will reflect on your days at Iowa. Make it a priority to connect to people you know and all over the globe will get to know. And always stretch yourself beyond what you believe is possible. I know that Iowa graduates across the globe are ready to support you on whatever path you choose. They're waiting to share their success stories, to hire you, and to mentor you. They are opening the doors of their alumni clubs and inviting you to join them in supporting your alma mater that launched your life's journey, the University of Iowa. No matter where we are in the map, Iowa alumni stay connected. We get involved, we give back, and we're always better when we work together. Please make it a priority to come back to campus as often as you can I'm a New Yorker, but I did that. I came back to Iowa to serve on the University of Iowa Center for Advancement Board, a true honor to be at that table. And being connected to my fellow graduates has enriched my life in ways I never thought possible. So as you celebrate this momentous day and rite of passage and embark on a new relationship with the university, remember that you're a Hawkeye for life and that Hawkeyes change the world, as I know all of you will. Congratulations on your University of Iowa graduation and welcome to the alumni family. Go Hawks! Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Um, everybody's really proud of you and uh, everything that you will do in your career. Hey, class of 2020, this is Mike Brownlee here, wishing you the best of graduation. These are unprecedented times. It's no better time to have an unprecedented education. Good luck. I put on this outfit so I wouldn't have to change out of my sweats. I do want to congratulate you. We have never needed pharmacists more than we do today. Make us proud. Congratulations, Mommy and Dad. I'm proud of you. Congratulations, Margie Peck and the class of 2020. Congratulations, Margie. Happy graduation, Happy Brittany. Happy graduation, Brittany. We love you. Congratulations. Boo. Uh. Hey, hey, Olivia. Olivia. We, we just, just wanted to say congrats on finally graduating. And we, we love you. Happy graduation, Matthew. We're so, so proud of you. Woo! Yay! Congratulations to the class of 2020. It seems like just the other day I was speaking with you at P1 orientation and time has definitely flown. I wish I could be with you in person, but wanted to send a quick message to officially welcome you to the Iowa Pharmacy family. Caleb? Caleb, is that you? Hey man, you did it. Six years of school. Let's pharmacy it up. Love you, bud. Congratulations. Congratulations. Woo! <laughs> You're my hero.
Hey fellow Hawkeyes, to the class of 2020, congratulations, best of luck, and go Hawks! Congratulations, go Hawks! Happy graduation! Congratulations, Jason! Congratulations on graduation class of 2020. I'm Kristen. I graduated in 2017 and now I'm a Genesis board member. You guys are going to do amazing things and I cannot wait to see it. Matthew, we couldn't be happier for you today. So, so we, we all, all just, just wanted, wanted to, to say... say... Hi class of 2020, you did it. I am so happy for you. I'm so excited to see all of the great things you will do. Congratulations and don't forget to keep in touch. Alexa, we are so incredibly proud of you and your accomplishments you have had over the last four years. We love you so much, especially your little niece. Congratulations. I just want to give my heartfelt congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. We are all so very proud of you. And remember, we know you will move mountains. So just go on and make us proud. Hey guys, a big shout out to the class of 2020. With my best wishes goes one challenge, make a difference for your profession and the people it serves. Hey Chris, we are so proud of you with all your hard work in pharmacy school. We can't wait to get together for celebration. Love ya. There you go, Chris. College of Pharmacy class of 2020. You've made it and I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Bethany Votes, we are so proud of you and all your hard work over the last four years. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mom! We love you! I just want to congratulate my sister, Mackenzie McGraw, on graduating. We love you and miss you. Go Hawks! Congratulations, Lexi Tuman, class of 2020. We're so proud of you. You did a wonderful job. Congrats, Britt! We're proud of you. We love you! Good luck in Texas. I'm Matthew, it's Aunt Mary, your favorite aunt and godmother, saying congratulations on your graduation and outstanding academic achievement. We're really proud of you, and it's great to have another doctor in the family. Nicole, you are amazing. We are so proud of how hard you have worked to get to this milestone. Go kick some real world butt. Go Hawks. Congratulations! So proud of you, Olivia, and the accomplishments that you have done over the last six years at the University of Iowa, and even before that, you're amazing, and I can't wait to see what happens in the future. Love you. Congratulations, Olivia, on fulfilling your dream. And best wishes in the next step in your journey. We love you very much, and good luck. Congratulations, Olivia. We're so proud of you. We love you. Congratulations. Olivia Jane Altemeyer, you've worked so hard and deserve everything you've achieved. We are so proud of you. Congratulations. We love you. Congratulations, Ryan. We're so proud of you. And we can't wait to see what the future holds. Go Hey, Courtney, congratulations on your graduation. We know you've worked so hard and we're so proud of you. Dr. Bassoon in here, just wanting to congratulate Dr. Shirley Lawrence. You're already an amazing intern and you're gonna be a great pharmacist. Hey, Lex Lou, Lex Lou who? Congratulations, proud of you, of your accomplishments. Love you so much, honey. Congrats, mom, we love you. The Genesis board would like to say, congratulations. 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 Kayla, congratulations on your accomplishments over the past six years. Good luck in Chicago, you'll do great. We love you bunches, mom and dad. Congratulations, congratulations Austin. Austin. We're proud, proud of you and, and we love, love you. you. I hope you're having a good time. Congratulations, Matthew. I'm so proud of you. I love you. Wish we could be there. Uh, have a great graduation. Congratulations, Matthew, on another phenomenal accomplishment. You finally did it. We are so proud of you. Happy graduation day. Yay! Congratulations, Zach. Your dad and I are very proud of your determination and dedication to fulfill your goal to be a pharmacist. Now it's time to celebrate you. We love you, Zach. Congratulations. Congratulations! 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 Congratulations, Olivia! We 
love you. Job. We're super proud of you. Congratulations, Aaron, on earning your farm D during the pandemic. As new healthcare professionals, you all will be relied on now more than ever. Congratulations! Hi, Alexa. It's Dad and Mom. Hi, Lex. Congratulations on your doctorates in pharmacy at University of Iowa. We're very, very proud of you. Hi, Olivia. Grandpa and Grandma are so proud of you. And so are all your aunts and uncles and all your cousins. We love you very much. Congratulations. Hey, Austin, favorite sister here. I just want to let you know how proud I am of you, um, how excited I am for you, and how much I love you. I can't wait to see what comes next, baby brother. I just want to say congratulations to the University of Iowa class of pharmacy 2020. Congratulations, Miranda Staub. We're very proud of you. Very proud to be able to call you a doctor today, but more importantly, we're proud to call you our daughter every day. Congrats, Miranda. Congratulations, Sonia. We're, we're so very proud, proud of, you. of you. I love you, Sonia. Love you, Sonia. Love you, Sonia. Love you, Sonia. Congratulations, Sonia. We're proud of you. Congratulations, Austin. We love you. We're so proud of you. I just soon, our hearts swell with pride over your amazing accomplishment. We can't wait to celebrate your graduation in person. We are so grateful that you are part of our family. Love, Bob. And Angie. Hey, Jisoon. I'm so proud of the work you put in over the past four years in completing your farm D. I can't wait to start the next adventure of our lives as a future husband of a pharmacist. Congratulations, everybody. And especially congratulations to my fiance, Leah Mao. All your hard work is paying off. I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to see where this takes us. Love always, Ryan. Austin, we are so proud of your accomplishments and the man you have become. We've always believed in you and can't wait to see what your future holds. Congratulations. Congratulations. We, we love, love you. Hi, Brittany. I'm so proud of you for accomplishing all of your goals. Congratulations to you and your entire class. I love you. Congratulations, Brett. Go, Go home. Home. Congratulations, Brenna Robinson. We are so proud of you. Way to go. We know you could do it. Congratulations. Can't wait to see what's next. Go Hawks. The whole world is doing a health behavior challenge. What an exciting time to start your career. You're ready. Congratulations. Hello, class of 2020. Dayton here from the class of 2019, member of the Genesis board. Congratulations, fellow doctors. Go Hawks. Hey, class of 2020, I'm so proud of you guys. I can't wait to see what you do in your pharmacy career and beyond. Congratulations. Hey, love, we're so proud of you and everything that you've accomplished over the last few years, and we can't wait to see what the future holds for you. Love you. We love you. Go confidently. Congratulations, Connor. We are so very proud of you. This is your day. You should be proud of yourself. Amazing accomplishment. You are the caboose to our crazy train and we love you to pieces. Congratulations to all the graduates and most of all to my daughter, Courtney Dawson. I'm very, very proud of you. Anawa. 